Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 2, Episode 8. We are finally at the finals. Let's get started. All right, the finals has three contestants, three painters, and they're going to be painting Sir Ian McKellen. And he came very informally dressed. I was kind of surprised. He kind of looks like any of us, right? I'm used to seeing him all dolled up. Let's look at artist number one. Artist number one is the person that I had picked from the very, very beginning as probably being the winner. Now, in order to get into this competition, you have to send a digital self-portrait. This was his digital self-portrait. I enjoy the humor of this, putting the apple on your forehead instead of the top of your head. Here is the painting that he did that won him his episode and put him into this place of being in the finals. And this is what he did in the semifinals, the double portrait. I find his painting really, really beautiful. It's a combination of traditional painting and contemporary painting. There's a look at what he does, that kind of gritting that he does. Now the next part of the finals is that they have to do a commission piece. This is a famous boxer, I don't know his name, and they are given two weeks to do this commission. So they are judged on Ian McKellen, which they're painting in four hours in real time, and then the commission piece, which they have two weeks to complete. This was a fair, I think there might have been also a size. I think they all seem to be about the same size, a fairly large size. But here's a close-up. I, I just find this a, a particularly exciting bit of painting. And I'm going to work on a painting today, and I plan on trying some of this uh, random color stuff. I don't know if it's going to work in watercolor. Now let's work, look at artist number two. Artist number two is the watercolorist. And, you know, I'm thrilled that there's a watercolorist in our finals. This was the self-portrait that she did in order to get into the program. Here's the painting that she did that won her episode. And she works with a very large brush and doesn't grid at all. So she has a really fantastic eye. I really liked her double portrait. Of all the double portraits, I think this might have been the most successful. Really well done on the composition. Now let's look at the commission piece. I'm sorry, but I do not know the name of this person or what she's famous for. Sometimes the program goes by so fast, I can't even grab the information that I need. So here she is working on the piece. You get an idea. See how, I don't know if you can see how big the brush is. That's medium. She starts with a very big brush and then slowly works towards smaller brushes. I like the piece right where it is, right, right there. But here's the final piece, which I believe is a whole sheet of watercolor, which if you've ever had a whole sheet, that is a lot of area to cover and takes a tremendous amount of pigment. Um, maybe even a whole tube of indigo blue when it comes to that. Or what is that? That's really cerulean blue, indigo blue, Prussian blue. It's got a lot of, which works so fantastically with the uh, orange, when orange kind of tones in her face. So that is painter number two. Now let's go to painter number three. All right, painter number three kind of was a surprise to me. This is, this, this, I thought I learned something from this particular pick. Here's her self portrait. Again, beautifully done. And she was put ahead when it came to this portrait, which everyone felt was quite a soulful piece. It was very quiet, but had a big voice. What I didn't like particularly is the painting that she did as the double portrait. I didn't find this successful. I found it a little bit distorted and also the uh, negative space broken up into two. It was just two separate portraits, so I didn't love this. Here is the person that she was commissioned to paint, and this is a soprano opera singer wearing this fantastic, like, satin, silk kind of garment. And here's the painting she did. It took her two weeks, and this is the painting that she did. It's actually a little bit larger than this and, and includes uh, the hand and, and a good part of the torso. But this blew me away because I've not been a huge fan of her painting up until now. And what a difference not having time constraints made. So look at the two paintings together. You can see the painting that she did of Ian McKellen in the four hours, which it turned out that was the one that Ian McKellen picked to take home. Each sitter gets to take a painting home of their choosing. But look, at, it looks like it's done by two completely different artists. I can't reconcile that at all. And um, so I, I, I need to adjust my opinion of many things. Now let's look at the reveal of the three artists. Who is going to win? Portrait Painter of the Year, Season 2. This is that moment when they turn the easels around for Ian McKellen to see the three paintings. Remember, he picked the one on the right, 
uh, front right to take home with them. But they're all really beautiful paintings. And uh, and then here they are lined up for to hear the judge's announcement, <laughs> which is a pretty tense time. I think they all deserve to win, and I also wish that there was a prize for the two runners up. I, I hate that they go home completely empty handed. Empty handed, yeah. Now for the winner, uh, they will go on to what they call episode nine, which is a commission piece. Well, let's see who the winner is. So the winner is, and this is what I expected from the very, very beginning. I, I, I just knew that he would win because he, the judges are looking for something different. So yes, this, this is the person that won. And he was consistent throughout, again, that blend of traditional and modern painting. And here he is standing with the two presenters with his Ian McKellen painting. So he, he definitely can take on the assignment because the assignment coming up is to do a commission piece of the actor, Alan Cummings. And that's, gonna, that's a whole episode on its own. And if you want to watch that episode, you can. I'm not going to uh, cover it. But I will show you what he did as the final portrait. There's Alan Cummings. That was maybe a couple of years ago. I'm not sure, what, and I'm not sure when season two ran. So here's the painting of Alan Cummings. The fun thing about the episode that I'm not going to cover is that they spend time together. You get to know their two personalities a bit. Alan Cummings really wanted to be seen, uh, wanted his portrait to be done naked. But what I find really funny about this portrait is uh, he wanted to also recognize his Scottish roots. And so he's got a kilt. He's completely naked, but he's got a kilt around his neck, which I think is kind of hilarious and showing his, his good humor. It really works as a painting. I find it a little bit fragmented, maybe a little bit too much, but boy, uh, it's a great job. What can I say? Now, I just happened to get on the internet this morning and saw that there was a program called uh, Portrait, uh, Portrait Painter of the Decade. And uh, the same fellow won that one. And you can see that's Judy Dench. So I thought I'd throw that in as a, a surprise. So he's, he's a fun painter to watch. So I may be doing re more recaps or I may not. Depends on what you all feel. And remember to keep the white your paper white, your paint wet, master of value, mixture color. Please join my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.